Colin Powell may seem like an unlikely pair, but they're getting together for a good cause. Mark Shearer reports. At the Boys and Girls Club in Southeast Washington, the kids and the media were waiting for retired General Colin Powell in his Thunderbird and his passenger, Janet Jackson. The message of this media event was mentoring, promoting volunteerism through General Powell's organization, America's Promise. Jackson is donating proceeds from the North American leg of her tour to the general's cause. That's a lot. It's a portion of the proceeds which could um, you know, amount to uh, perhaps as much as a million dollars. Uh, aside from the proceeds, I'll uh, definitely uh, give a little uh, speech within the show about America's Promise and, and, and hopefully uh, trying to encourage the people to, within the audience to, to join the program, becoming mentors, tutors. On the Velvet Rope tour and on her double platinum album with the same name, Jackson deals with a lot of autobiographical themes. She's not afraid to speak publicly about her own insecurities, especially if it'll help young people overcome theirs. I read where you told an interviewer recently that you had to see a guy in the desert to deal with depression. What was that all about and did you accomplish it? It's, <laughs> yes, it is a cowboy that is a very good friend of mine. It's not someone that I went to see. I, we just happened to kind of run into one another and we met and, and we really hit it off and he's a wonderful guy and he's helped me understand a lot more about myself and things that I've, I've um, come to I guess encounter at this time in my life just because I'm on in front of the camera doesn't mean that there aren't things deep inside that are tearing away at me we all have them I was, hadn't figured out how I was getting into the stadium at that point. In fact, uh, I shouldn't, well, Mr. Bierman from 13 got me in. At any rate. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Another station helps you. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, but, uh, You're a schmoozer, aren't you? Yeah, a little bit. You have to schmooze. Yeah, you got to schmooze a little. Can I, can I see the, the Joe DiMaggio since oh, you yeah, mentioned Oh, that was him. that night, yeah. Huh? That was that night. And you got Joe here. He seemed, was he pretty gracious? Yeah, Joe, Joe was fine. Who, who has been uh, nasty? <laughs> well. Straight out nasty. Um... Like, get out of my way. Uh, no? Most, straight on? You know, most of the stars really, really are, are gracious. There's they're a used few. To, right? There, right, there's a few. I, I really didn't care for Ted Williams at all. Oh, well, you know, Ted he's been that way a long time. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, some of the sports stars, they are a little not quite as, as yeah. gracious. Yeah. But the movie stars and so on are normally great. Did and you get a picture of the Pope last year? You know, the oh. Pope was in Baltimore. Oh, I assume you were. I, I guess you wanted to get onto my failures, didn't you? Well. Okay, well, that's a major you failure. You didn't get the Pope. No, That's I didn't. That's a true story. You gotta, told me you didn't get the Pope. I'm okay, not sure I didn't get I the. You. I didn't get the Pope. Oh. Uh, I have to admit this I, on TV. But you want the close uh, up. See, everybody got. That's all right. Everybody yeah, right. got a shot of the Pope going by on Charles right. Street, right? Right. right. Exactly. Well, I wanted you the close up. You wanted the close up. So I did. It's true that I was over there with the Secret Service and I was schmoozing a little bit and trying to find a way to get closer. And he told me, you know, I would be fine. That he was going to get me in there close. Okay. Do you and, sell uh, these pictures? But it didn't work out. Do you sell these? Yes, I do. I sell them to the public. You have one more to show us here. This we got time for one more here. Shirley MacLaine. In yes. Baltimore? Yes, that was Baltimore. Wow. Way to go. She looks kind of old there, doesn't she? Well, no, that's, huh? a, that's a wig. No, no, that's a wig. Oh, that's, I'm she's sorry. wearing a wig from the Is show. Is that movie? Yeah, Guarding uh, Test. Guarding Test. Right. Oh, right, right, sorry. Right, right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta say. <laughs> really, it looks like she's been at Shepherd Pratt a little too long. Son. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, John Matthew Smith, and good luck. I'll, I'll see you out there somewhere okay. on the beat, right? Stay right. out of trouble. Okay. And speaking of celebrities, if you are a fan of daytime talk shows, you'll want to stay put. When we return, we'll meet a former talk show producer who has plenty to say about the TV talk industry, including the latest controversy surrounding the Jenny Jones show. Roderick's for breakfast. We'll be right back. Bell over here for his life. I wonder if you could be more specific. Have there actually been threats on his life?